guys, welcome back to my channel, Living Up Akunle. My name is Faith. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning back, thanks for your loyalty, fam. All right, let's go ahead and take a second and hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to turn on the post notification so you get to know when I post a new video. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you're feeling it at any time, comment down below and feel free to share on your social media page. Thanks, guys. So today's video, as, um, as you guys know, we're still in a pandemic, okay? So a lot of us have gained that um, quarantine pounds, you know, eating too much and not doing a lot of exercise. So Fall and I are in a place where we need to somewhat fix our eating habits and our, our nutrition in general because we've been eating good at home, let's say that. You don't gotta go out to eat good. You can eat good in your house. And we'll be doing a little bit too much with that, that we're at a point where it's a wake up call to somewhat fix our diet, fix our food, what we put in our body so we can get good good results out as well. So we are going to be trying the uh, 28 day fitness challenge that I've been seeing on Instagram. And um, it's, it's, it's like X28 challenge if you want to check them out on instagram but we just signed up for that um, last night and the challenge starts june 29 so the challenge also includes nutrition guide you know with meal meal plan for each day throughout the 28 days of what you can eat so it requires me to be somewhat detailed in my grocery shopping list today so i literally have this long list of grocery shopping list i wrote down what the um, daily meal plan is each day and make sure whatever I don't have on the, whatever I'm writing down on here, I make sure to put it on my list, on my grocery list, if it's not already on my grocery list. So because we're gonna decide, so because we're deciding to eat healthier, that means I need to take out all the unhealthy food that I currently have in my fridge to somewhat not fall into the temptation of it's there so eat it you know what i mean so i am cleaning my fridge doing a little dip cleaning of my fridge um you're gonna see so as you can see my fridge right now usually this fridge is always packed well it's about to get packed after groceries it's a little messy but i'm going to organize it and you know make it look better I still have my F4. I have till the 29th to finish this. If not, it's gonna get put in the deep freezer to freeze up for whenever my dieting is over. I'm gonna try to finish my moi moi. And you know, the this little unhealthy food that I still have in here are gonna be done for sure the 28th. So that the 29th, all we eat is clean and healthy food. So this is my fridge before going to grocery shopping. We are going to see how I am going to fill this fridge up after grocery shopping. So now let's head out and go spend some money. And yeah, keep watching. So guys, I am here at the grocery store. H-E-B, Just got here. They closed in literally less than 45 minutes. So I have got to hurry up on my shopping and be on time with it. As you can see, I have my face mask on. And I actually always wear two face masks. So there's one on the gate here. For shopping, so I am in here. I've got my list with me and there's a lot of food, fresh fruit and vegetables out here. So that's good. Because with the surge in Texas, I honestly feel like they might do a, another shutdown. So let me go ahead and pack up on my food, pack up on my food, so that I don't have to worry. So I just got found some peaches because our diet called for peaches. So we're gonna grab some peaches. Yo, doesn't this sweet potato look like it's on steroids? Look at all the veins. 
Alright guys, I am I am done shopping for my fresh fruits and vegetables. So now I'm about to move to the frozen aisle to get some chicken breast. I got some more whole tilapia fish for the days that we're gonna be getting fish. So I have shopped for my beef meat, my ground beef, my chicken. So pretty much what's gonna go in the deep freezer. Now on to my dairy products. I'm so y'all, I'm so glad that I came shopping today because I literally left my house at 7 o'clock p.m. So far I was like, babe, isn't it too late? But if I decide to wait till later this weekend, I know it's going to be too packed. Don't go shopping on the weekends if you want to see some food or don't spend too much time or don't be around too much crowd. Weekends is so, no, no. Especially now with this coronavirus class. So I'm like, I don't think weekends waiting for the weekend would be smart but that's why i decided that i need to go shop tonight because i need to so i'm glad i came today and there is still food and like i said i'm not i won't be surprised if they do the um stay at home order in a week or two so at least let me go ahead and shop right now and have my food to be able to feed my family before things get chaotic and people start fighting for food and um, household items. So, here I am. So I am done shopping. I am finally checking out right now. And it's about to be a bill, okay? It's about to be a big old bill. So yeah, I am ready to head home. It is 8.43. I got here at 7.16. And I'm taking off at 8.43. Good time management, okay? I definitely went to work. Look at all these groceries. So much groceries. Mommy went to work. One tip slash advice for when you go grocery shopping. Always look at your receipt. No matter how. Always look at your receipt. No matter how long it is. Because sometimes they will double, they will make a mistake and charge you for something extra that you didn't get. So like I always make sure I look at receipt, no matter how long it is, I'm looking like, I know what I put in my cart. So I know it should what should reflect on my receipt. So that happened to me today. That accident happened to me today. She charged me for egg, three eggs, but I only bought two. I'm like, no, nah, honey. This $4 makes a lot of difference, okay? So I need my $4 back. So I got my refund on that. But yeah, so I'm about to put my groceries in the cart, take it home, fill the fridge up, see what the fridge is gonna look like when all my groceries are all put in. Yeah, now I gotta do this hard work. This is hard labor, y'all. Like I always, most of the time I grocery shop alone because I, especially now, actually now with this pandemic, I try to grocery shop alone because I want Fala to be home with Fisayo. But sometimes he would like come grocery shopping with me and stay in the car with her. But because it was too late this evening for me, for when I got here, I'm like, no, y'all can just stay at home, get her ready for bed and I'll do the grocery shopping myself. So he's home right now with Fisayo. And as of right now, he's actually getting her ready for bed so she can sleep because it's, she's already 30 minutes late into her bedtime and I'm sure she was cranky as heck All right, let me do some exercise with this grocery So with all this love So with all these groceries comment down below and guess how much I spent on groceries this evening I'm going to give a shout out to the winner in my next video so comment down below tell me how much did i approximately how much i spent on those groceries today yeah follow i'll be like babe we gotta eat and healthy foods aren't cheap y'all they are not cheap they're so expensive it's expensive to eat healthy and it's very expensive to eat healthy so comment down below since the pandemic whenever i come back from groceries i always have hot water 
pour on it in my sink and I usually pour a little bit of some distilled, uh, distilled white vinegar on it just to wash my fresh produce before putting it into my cream tray. the fridge now as you can tell so lots of groceries y'all guys I love when my fridge tray looks like this just so beautiful it looks like a mini market of its own now I pray that I get the motivation to actually eat healthy and cook healthy this is fun guys by the way all right guys so i am finally done putting away my groceries of course with fala definitely the teamwork together makes it go a lot more faster than the time spent buying the groceries so i am done i want to know how you guys clean your groceries or unpack your groceries during this pandemic like what do you use to wipe things down or clean your groceries to ensure that it's not dirty <laughs> when you're putting it in the refrigerator or your cabinet comment down below let me know because i'm taking tips as well you just got to be a lot more safer because this coronavirus is getting a lot more serious so anything to enhance more safety i'm up for it I said earlier fall and i are going to be taking up the 28 days challenge uh, with healthy eating and working out to just you know start up our healthy lifestyle because we are kind of tired of eating too good if you know what i mean like when my friends see my food they'll be like dang girl you're eating too good until i learned that too good means too unhealthy and of course I feel it in my stomach. I see it in my stomach, I feel it in my body. So we're just gonna revamp our life and be healthier individuals. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna definitely track my process in this um, healthy 28 days challenge so that I can be able to share with you guys the, you know, the before and after pictures. So you get to see why I'm so serious about eating healthy now. Okay, thanks for going grocery shopping with me. It was a little bit more fun knowing I'm recording what I'm buying with you guys. It was pretty cool. Don't forget to comment down below how much you think I spent on those groceries. Okay, comment down below, I wanna know. And I'll give a shout out to whoever is closest to the cost, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you watched to the end of it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, interact with me so I can continue to learn to interact with you guys as well. Feel free to share this video and um, thank you. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.